And now at 6, several mailboxes in an upstate community were damaged by an explosion. 7 News reporter Taylor Farmer was in that neighborhood today. She has the very latest. The Greer Police Department says they are investigating a malicious damage incident regarding an explosion of multiple mailboxes. <laughs> According to officers, they responded to the Franklin Point subdivision Monday morning around 12.30 a.m. Officers found multiple mailboxes had been destroyed by some type of unknown device. Adam Tuma, an attorney with Tuma Law Group, says proving what device was used will be difficult. He says if debris is used in court, an expert would need to testify. In this case, unless they find debris that they can put together or they can track down something like that, but it didn't seem too like large enough of an explosion to be able to determine what exactly device was used. The Greer Police Department tells 7 News in a statement, quote, we are continuing our investigation into this incident. We are asking for the public's help in identifying those individuals who may have been involved. Officers say the suspect's vehicle is a white four-door sedan. They probably thought they were having fun and they don't realize like how serious it can be. Maybe bigger charges come out of it. I mean, I don't know. Like it's really dangerous, like putting bombs in people's Mailboxes or anywhere, it's really, really dangerous. Tuma says those responsible could face state and federal charges. He says the penalty could vary. Additionally, he says with four mailboxes exploding rather than one, that could also increase the penalty. If it's one malicious injury with a 30 day misdemeanor, but then you have four of those, then potentially, you know, you could be facing 120 days or something if they wanted to run them concurrent instead of consecutive. It makes it more dangerous for them, uh, for the defendant, I would say. Detectives are currently working to identify the suspects involved. If anyone has any information regarding the incident, you're asked to call the Greer Police Department. In Greer, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. It's important to point out that the police tell us nobody was injured in that explosion.